Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla launched Cybertruck-inspired wireless charging platform for mobile devices. Tesla Model 3 tows a 15,000-pound boxable house. Tesla owners report complimentary enhanced autopilot for 30 days as a holiday perk. And, Tesla owner blames FSD suite for 8-car Thanksgiving Day crash. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla launched a Cybertruck-inspired wireless charging platform for your mobile devices. Although this might make a great last-minute gift for Tesla owners and fans, it doesn't ship out until February 2023, so more in line with Valentine's Day. Tesla noted that the design was inspired by the angular design and metallic styling of the Cybertruck. It provides 15 watt of fast charging power per Kai capable devices, such as your mobile phone or earbuds. It can charge up to three devices simultaneously and is engineered with free power wireless charging technology. Included in the box are the following. Wireless charging platform, USB-C cable integrated with wireless charger, 65-watt USB-C power adapter, and magnetic detachable stand. Tesla also provided a setup and user manual, which goes over how to configure the magnetic stand, route the cable through the stand and out the bottom, and charge the devices. The new wireless charging platform is $300. Tesla also has a desktop supercharger and a wireless portable charger 2.0, the latter is currently out of stock. In November, Tesla added two new backpacks, the Mega Backpack and the Mini Backpack, which quickly sold out after they were added to the online shop. Those are now back in stock, but may not be for too much longer. Both backpacks are made with premium vegan leather and come in black or white. This is a nod to the options of either color for the interiors of the line of vehicles. The Tesla Cyberwhistle, another Cybertruck-inspired creation, is currently sold out again. Tesla is keeping its customers on their toes with the latest Cybertruck-inspired products as they eagerly await the production and delivery of the vehicle. Although a report noted that the Cybertruck was expected to begin mass production in late 2023, Elon Musk pointed out that the company was in the final lap of the vehicle's development during Tesla's Q3 2022 earnings call in October. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model 3 tows a 15,000-pound boxable house. A Tesla Model 3 was seen towing a boxable house in Las Vegas. The founder and CEO of Boxable, Galliano Tiramani, shared a video of the Model 3 pulling a 15,000-pound Boxable Casita on Twitter. When Teslarati reached out to Galliano, he said that Boxable demonstrated towing the Model 3 on the Las Vegas Speedway, which you can see in the video here. Galliano said that the team performed trailer testing that shows just how transportable our room modules are. What better vehicle to use than a Tesla? As expected, the Model 3 was amazing and easily able to tow the 15,000-pound Casita, he added. Boxable sells room module systems that shorten build time in real estate development projects. Galliano explained that his goal with the company was to one day produce one house per minute, just like the Tesla Fremont factory produced almost one per minute. Suppose you can't ship something in a cost-effective manner. In that case, you can't mass-produce it in a factory, you have to build it on-site, and that's the current situation of housing in the world, a solution that makes shipping houses cost-effective, means we can scale manufacturing, and hopefully, scale manufacturing to the level you see with automobile makers. The goal of Boxable is for our factories to one day produce one house per minute, just like a Tesla is produced one per minute, Galliano said. Moving to the next update, Tesla owners report complimentary enhanced autopilot for 30 days as a holiday perk. It appears that Tesla's holiday perks for some of its customers do not end with this year's holiday software update, which was released earlier this month. As reported by several Tesla owners online, the electric vehicle maker is also rolling out free access to enhanced autopilot for 30 days as a complimentary service for the holidays. 
Reports of the new complementary service were posted by Tesla owners from Australia and New Zealand recently, both on social media and in the Tesla Motors subreddit. Tesla veteran and electric vehicle advocate TechAU observed that some features of enhanced autopilot would likely be appreciated by Tesla owners who have not purchased any of the company's advanced driver assist suites. While every Tesla produced today automatically comes with basic autopilot as standard, which includes traffic-aware cruise control, lane-keeping assistance, emergency braking, and blind spot monitoring, the additional features of Enhanced Autopilot present a notable upgrade. In a way, Enhanced Autopilot is a great alternative for those who wish to not purchase the full self-driving suite, as it includes notable advanced features for just $6,000. In comparison, FSD costs $15,000. With Enhanced Autopilot, owners are able to access all the features of Basic Autopilot, as well as functions such as navigate on autopilot and auto lane change. Navigate on autopilot is among Tesla's most advanced driver assist features, as it allows vehicles to travel from a highway on ramp to an off ramp without input from the driver. Auto lane change is just as impressive, as it allows vehicles to change lanes as needed, also without the driver manually performing the maneuvers. Other notable features of Enhanced Autopilot include Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon, which are all pretty much like neat party tricks in their current iterations. Smart Summon in particular has made headlines in the past, as it allows Teslas to navigate a parking lot and pick up their owners at a designated spot. Elon Musk has previously noted that an improvement to Smart Summon, fondly called Actual Smart Summon, is in the works and will likely be released in the future. For now, it remains to be seen if Tesla's free Enhanced Autopilot 30-day trial will be rolled out to other countries, apart from Australia and New Zealand, though it would make sense if the offer is released worldwide. Enhanced Autopilot, after all, is still a $6,000 option, so the best way to encourage vehicle owners to opt in for the service is to have them try it out themselves at one of the busiest times of the year. Moving to the last update, Tesla owner blames FSD suite for eight-car Thanksgiving Day crash. A Tesla owner involved in an accident on Thanksgiving Day is blaming the company's full self-driving suite for causing the eight-car pileup on San Francisco's Bay Bridge. After the driver's 2021 Model S was allegedly operating with the full self-driving suite, it malfunctioned, they said. An accident then occurred on I-80, with two juveniles going to a local hospital for the treatment of minor injuries. Police are still attempting to determine whether the suite actually malfunctioned, was even operational in the first place, or whether the statement the driver made to police was accurate, Reuters said in its report. A police report said the driver's Model S made an unsafe lane change and was slowing down to come to a stop when another vehicle hit the Tesla and subsequent crashes occurred. There is no confirmation that the car was operating on full self-driving. The NHTSA did not offer a comment on the accident, as the agency could be working with Tesla or law enforcement agencies to determine factors contributing to the crash. In past, accidents involving Tesla vehicles, potentially operating with the full self-driving suite, the automaker has been able to clarify some of the situations with data available after the crash. In an April 2021 accident in Texas, involving a Model S in Texas, where two people perished, the National Transportation Safety Board determined that autopilot and auto steer systems were unable to be engaged on the part of the road where the accident occurred. These dispelled media narratives, blaming full self-driving and autopilot for the accident. Despite Tesla's long-standing status as a company with advanced driver assistance features, it is still commonly misconceived that the cars can drive themselves without any human interaction. However, this is incorrect, and Tesla has maintained that drivers must remain vigilant and pay attention to road conditions and surroundings in case they would have to take over the vehicle. The company also indicates autopilot, enhanced autopilot, and full self-driving are intended for use with a fully attentive driver who has their hands on the wheel and is prepared to take over at any moment. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments.
Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.